Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Nargis and in this video I want to demonstrate to you how we can easily read and visualize all types of geospatial data in Python just using a few lines of code. So stay tuned. Let's begin with raster data. You have two options, GDAL or raster.io. Option 1, GDAL. First of all, you need to import GDAL array from OSGO import GDAL array and also you need import some of the basic libraries such as NumPy and Matplotlib. After importing required libraries, you just need to use GDAL array.load file to read your image. And if your image isn't grayscale, you need to move axis of your image to change the shape of your image to width, height, and band. And for grayscale image, you can just read it with GDAL array dot load file. And for plotting your image, you can use matplotlib library by plt.imshow your image. Here you can see my image. And if you want to use raster.io, just import raster.io and then type raster.io.open and then pass it the path of your image. As you can see here, the next step is reading individual bands. And if you have a gray scale image, you just need to reading the first band. In the next step, I get to reading and visualizing a vector data. It is really a straightforward, you just need to import geopandas. So I import geopandas as gpd and then type gpd.read file and pass the path of your shape file. Then with dot plot, you can visualize the vector data. For example, shapefile.plot in my case. Finally, I move on point cloud data. You should import two important library, namely Open3D and LastPy. So I import Open3D as O3D and LastPy and NumPy. You should just call LastPy.root function and give it the directory of your last data. In the next step, for converting last to NumPy array format, just type mp.vstack last.x, last.y, and last.z, and then transpose it. Now I created a NumPy array from my point cloud. And finally, for visualizing point cloud data, you should use Open3D library with these codes. First, you need to convert your NumPy array of point cloud to a specific format of Open3D. Hence, I initially created a geometry of point cloud and then give it my NumPy array of point cloud. Eventually, by calling open3d.visualization.drawgeometries, you can easily visualize your point cloud data. I run it. Here you can see my point cloud data and zoom in or zoom out. That was all and see you in the next video. Please don't forget to share and subscribe if you enjoyed this.